welcome back to our channel and um this is obi tv please kindly subscribe to the youtube channel if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel you like you share the video you leave a comment um uh, there is a gentleman just by me uh, i've seen a couple of his videos on social media and i try to um, follow up to where i can get him in case you hear any noise around we are just in the center of accra accra central so um just forgive us in case you hear um noise at the background that is how it is um a big thank you to ash token is a crypto currency crypto is the issue now if you want to really invest in cryptocurrency or if you want to buy crypto the best one and the safest one accepted one around the world is ash token i have their numbers on the screen right now you can call them make an inquiry and um, buy or purchase a crypto don't forget to let them know you want to use the promo code obibini okay um boss how are you i'm fine okay your name imano tinkran imano tinkran imano where are you from okay so i'm from dansoman dansoman that's where you live that's where i stay okay but i'm from western region western region okay um i've seen a couple of your videos around um are you a foster? <laughs> <laughs> and let me say, I was a foster. Really? Yes, I was a foster. And actually, that's what, that is what I was doing for a living. Okay, so what is the level of your education? I went to SHS. Okay. Yeah, that's my level of education. And that, that's all? That's all. Okay, so um, uh, who taught you? Or how were you able to acquire that skill okay. of frauding? And let me say, when I completed school, I, I know of a friend who was already into that. Okay. And the situation at home was really, really tough. Uh -huh. So then I had to go and see him, and I, I told him myself. You know, my mind was willingly. Okay. You know, I told him, like, situation at home is really bad. And I, I'm a guy, and I want to do something with my life. So I told him what I want to do. But I know he's already doing that. How did you know? No, he's a friend, and he normally flashes money in the area. But he's a young boy. Imagine at that time, we we're all kids. So I had to approach him and you know tell him like, yeah, I really want to join what he's doing. Then he asked me if I am willing to join. I was like, yeah, I'm ready. So he told me he's into internet fraud. Okay. Then. Okay. So when we say internet fraud, what does it mean? Okay. Internet fraud is we acquire money from the white people in in in, in lying to them. And also pretend, pretending to be who we are not. Come again. When you pretending to be who you are not. Yes. Let so me explain that. Okay. We pretending to be who we are not in senses. I can be talking to a man and make him understand I'm a woman. And I, I, I may be a woman talking to a man. So the thing is, it's a vice vessel. I can pretend as if like I'm a lady whilst I'm not a lady. Whilst I'm a lady, whilst I pretend I'm a man. To them so your friend taught you that my friend taught me that and you started doing it i started doing it how much did you make your first like <laughs> the first uh, my, hit? My, yeah, my first money was i think 500 quid dinner and quit with their currency is really higher than the person order. was in quit yes and you pretended to be a lady, a lady. okay so he said he sent me that money for my house rent and my internet bills you know we have format Okay, so you told the person you are a lady. I'm a lady. And you know, so far in Ghana. In Ghana. Okay. My, my, my dad is an American and my mom is a Ghanaian. I'm a mixed race. But my dad is late. So I'm now, I've now relocated to my mom in Ghana. Okay. That is the storyline. Okay. Did he ever ask you, I want to see your face? Yeah, sure. The pictures we use, we go on the net and we download some of the models that they are not all that popular okay so we have their videos and at the same time we have their pictures okay so we have most of the videos that we have we watch and learn the video where the person will talk where the person will sit down where the person will wave we learn all those kind of things so when you want to see me on video mm -hmm. we have a site called webcam an app so we download it and we keep it on our laptop so when you ask me you want to see me on a video we have videos that we show you to first comments like a first client, I mean the first white man I, I, I get. I have a first video, I will show him that a video, the lady will stand up, then we'll greet the man. 
So automatically you, you know it is. Is it a video call? You just send the, those videos. You know the video like a, a real like a calling me on a real video, like calling me on Skype, calling me on Yahoo Messenger. So like it, it is a live video communication. But these are pre-recorded videos. Yes. And then you display them definitely through um, a website or yes. a software, an app called Webcam. That okay. is what, what all the fraud boys they use. It is, it is called Webcam. You can you can post the you, you could take the video. Then you put it in that app so you can sit at the back and be play and be pausing it so you mute everything the girl is saying <laughs> uh, really funny so when you see the girl talking then you also be talking at back but you you are a male you will learn all those kind of things so you pretend as yeah. see yeah <laughs> yeah so we learn all those kind of things i wouldn't lie to you we learn all those kind of things because if i want to be a lawyer I definitely have to learn about. Has there been a, a case where the white man you are chatting mm -hmm. will go like, "I want to see your nakedness" or something? That one it is, it is it is normal. Most of them at the first conversation, that's the first thing they would they would even ask. They will ask for your naked pictures, naked and, pictures. Let me put it that way. And you you go we online. Have, we have more than what they even want. You know, when you go to the the page, let me say the model you be using the pictures. When you go to the page, you see any kind of picture you want there. The nude picture is the one she's dressed neatly with office wear pictures. She's in the office, like you get all the kind of pictures you want. Okay, all the pictures you want. So, any picture the person will ask you, you will definitely get a picture for him. Oh, okay. So, any picture the person is going to request for, yeah. you, you have all those things. Have all those things. So, you said the first hits was how much? 500 quid, quid dinner. And uh, how much is that? If I wouldn't lie, that time it was almost like I think three to five thousand. Which year? Hey, I started this. I started this, this for a long time. Let me put like, if I'm not lying, like it could be two o nine, two o ten. There. That's long ago. Yeah, long, long ago. So right. you had your first about five thousand. Yeah. Cities. And the first thing I, I I did was to you know rent. You didn't have a place. No, I was staying with mom then. So you had that five thousand quickly. You had to rent. Rent. And then what else? So I rent and. I had to buy a laptop then get myself a personal phone so i went out doing the fraud but it got to a stage the money wasn't coming why you know that is how the devil's work the devil gives nothing for free so definitely it will get to a stage the client will by all means see you are frauding him so the client wouldn't be giving you money anymore and you will still be going on looking for client we have a dating site but how is the client able to tell that mm -hmm. this is a fraud okay the thing is, it depends on the formats we give them. You know, when you take them the money, it gets to a stage that the client will say, okay, fine, then you have to come to him. So he will send you money for traveling, police report. Let, let's say, um, um, pay for your air ticket and everything. Everything. He will send you the money. He will money. send you the money. So I have sent you the money. Come. I will find an excuse to, 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 to give to him. Maybe I had an accident. So automatically the money is waste. So then he will try to do another one. So tell me, you won't do that for the fourth time. You will definitely know it's a scam. You are not coming. And secondly, too, when they, when they go to the banks to send us money, they have our pictures there. So if you are not lucky, and he goes to send you money, and your picture is among the fraudsters' pictures, there, that's all. Ah, the fraudsters. The, the ladies' pictures we use. Most of the, bank, the banks, they are aware of it. Okay, hold on. That, so sometimes the money has to go through another person. Yeah, sure. Maybe he will be sending the money to you directly, though. But I could probably tell the client maybe I am staying with my mom and my uncle. I am not a Ghanaian. So automatically, you can't send me money for me to use my UX passport to withdraw oh, money. Okay. So automatically, it has to be somebody who is a Ghanaian. So then, definitely, so my uncle, my uncle to, is there. Or my mom is there. Or any other name that I would prefer to give. That's how it goes. So at a point, the money was not coming. Again. The money was not coming. So then I have to talk to my friend. That Charlie, things make tough. You will get a client who ask the money they wouldn't give you. Why? Why? Why would some of them prove stubborn? Like you know, at times this old fourth thing. It is like it, like it is like you are going after a lady that you truly for something for. Her. If she asks you like five cities, and you give her the five cities, when she asks you for ten cities, 
you give her the text. It's because you really want something from the lady. So you keep on giving. So when it sees, you have to do anything, everything in your power to make sure you get the like the money she has taken from you. So fraud is something that it is not normal the way we see it. The devil will definitely want you to commit. So one way or the other, it will cease. You will do such things you used to do, you'll be doing them, but nothing moves. So then we have to use a spiritual backing. So when the money was not coming, we decided to use spiritual backing. Yeah. How is that one that? We I spoke with my, my friend and the same person who introduced me. The same person who introduced me. So we went to a man around Kaswa. He's a sheikh. He's no more, but he's late now. So he was the one that you know did something for us. You know, when you go there, they will they will they will put you in a well. You know, is it a, is it a, a big well? Yeah, a big well with a ladder in it. Okay. Without a ladder, you will sink. Okay. Is there is water in? Water in. So when you go to the shake, um, what is that the first ritual? That's, the, that's the first initiation. So when you are done with that one, it will, it will probably leave you inside more than more than five minutes. With, with the perception, is 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 taking away all the bad locks from you. So he's, he's cleansing you. At Kaswa. At Kaswa. Okay. So when it's done, when you look at me closely, you see a mark here. I wasn't born with that, and I'm a fancy. We don't do those kind of travel mark and stuff. Yeah. But when it's done, you will, will, will use a new blade to cut you. Then we'll put something black inside the saw, initiating you. So when it's done, then we knew when I was done, he gave me an handkerchief and ring. So anytime I go to cafe to browse or when I want to extract money from a client and the client is stubborn, I have to sit on the handkerchief, wear the ring. If I ask the money and you don't have the money, it's, it's up to you. If you go and steal it, well, I don't really care about you, will pay. Hold on. You got to a point, the sheikh gave you a handkerchief and, and a ring. And ring. Yeah. Now, when you are chatting with the client, yeah. you have to sit on the handkerchief. Yeah. And do what? You know, it is something like a command. That is that is what the ring was doing and the handkerchief was doing. So, you mentioned their names. I don't mention their name. But what do you do? I am chatting with you, right? Maybe I am asking, maybe like this, I'm asking like $500,000 from you. Hundred thousand, you don't want to give it to me. So, what I'll just do is just to leave you, go put on my ring, sit on my handkerchief, then I will ask you the money again. You give it to me. Oh, are, are you serious? I'm damn serious. I am. I am more than a word serious. You sit on the handkerchief, yeah. put on the ring. Yeah. You type again that I need this. You give you the amount money. of money. Yeah. What if? The person doesn't have the money at that material moment. You go and borrow it and I, give it to you. Yeah. I once have a client like that, Glenn. It was, it was, it was, it was which country? US. It was from, is it? I think Texas. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a retire. He has his own car and has a expensive motor bike. So when I met him on the dating site, he told me someone has duped him with traveling before. When we say traveling, like him sending you the money to come to him so i decided not to go to traveling with him so i had to go to gold level with him okay so i made him and i stood my late father left as gold you know and the will he left before they would give the gold to me i had to get married or have a serious relationship so the gold will be transferred into the man's possession so that he, <laughs> for him be the man of the house so he could probably use the money to take care of me and my family so he, he, he buy into that idea. You told him that and he accepted it. He accepted it. So he had no money by then. So he had to sell the car, sell the motor. I took him $30,000. He, he, he sent all the money. $30,000? Yes. Through bank or what? Yeah, through work and, 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 and money gone. So what we do is that kind of huge money won't contain one person's name. A person's name could probably take like Two thousand to three thousand dollars. So, I share. I could give him my, my my mom's name and the details, my sister's name and the details, my friend's name. So, every day when he goes to this particular West, you know, you can only say like three different names at that particular place. Then go to a different work you know. So, a day you could go like three West, you know, so probably like sell like into like nine names for a day. And the thirty thousand dollars came. Yeah, he, he was just sent all the money. Then we will withdraw. So any day he will send, we will withdraw it. Then I will be keeping it. 
So I got all, all the money. But she, then, but then he wasn't willing to send the money because he told me like he had no money. Okay. But me using what I had to use, you know, me sitting on the handkerchief and putting putting the wig on, and I asked him that money. The next thing he was able to tell me, he will see what he could do. But they have a car and a bike, but the bike is really expensive than even the car. So he will sell it, thinking if the gold gets to him, he could buy numbers of times of what okay, he So he thought the gold would be sent to him, sure. Or you will be joining him or No, something. the gold will go first before even me, I will come. So the gold will be shipped from Ghana to US. That is what you told him. Yeah. So he brought the money. He brought the money. And did you continue with him? Yeah, I continue with him. You know, when they bring the money like that, we have boys that they will give us fake tracking. What is tracking number? You know, when they send someone a package, they give you a tracking number. When the person track the package, you will see, okay, the, pa the package is around UK, is around so so that's a tracking number so you will create a fake tracking number when you check it it will be coming to your same destination so when the money came you did all you can do yeah. and then and the thing was like the gold is being sent yeah to definitely me. so he got to uk then i i i, I told him it he was tracking yeah he was tracking so he told me the gold is not moving when he got to uk then i told him the immigration there as they hold it so we need to send money you know for them to release it so then we have connections our boys who are Ghanaian boys they also fostered the UK. so they will give the client their details then you will send the money to them then we will share percentage you take 10 percent they will send me the rest so he did that yeah i did that and and i took i, I took him ten thousand because i told you the gold is <laughs> the gold is worth worth of 11 million dollars you see i heard so you, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even feel like feel bad Sending that pity pity money because eleven million dollars, not the money, but eleven million dollars worth of gold. So meaning, when you even sell that eleven million worth of gold, then it is more than ten times that eleven million. So like you see the, that greediness. That's that's the whole thing. So that man, how much did you make from him? I took I took from I took Glenn more than eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars. More it it it, it could be more than that. You see, after I took that huge money, it was coming in a bit a bit a bit because what he was expecting wasn't coming so now when he's going to send the money then you'll be you know feeling some way and i have to convince him ah then he will send the money so he got to a stage he got to know you know he, he went to one of his friends then he, he, he showed the friend my picture not me in person the lady's picture I was using then the friend told him he know this picture but it's the scam picture that led him to suspect what i was doing if, if not than that maybe by today i'll still be taking his money Okay, was that your first, your second hit? That was my second client, and my third one. Okay, so this eighty thousand dollars. What did you do? Wait, I bought cars. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you see, your first car you bought. I bought, I bought, I bought my first car was Toyota Echo. That was way back Toyota Echo. Then I bought Ford. Then I bought Cola X. Then I bought another Cola X. Then I bought Camry. So I was last three, four years. I was driving like four cars on the road. When you go to Dansoma and you mention my name, Diwawa GH, everybody knows me there. Diwawa GH. Yeah. I was one of the topest Ford West in Dansoma. When you're counting the champion West of Dansoma, I was part of them. But okay, so you that eighty thousand dollars you're able to buy. I was, I, you know, like, see, we weren't using the money for anything sensible. It is me. I've not smoked before. I've not drink before. But my, but I, I'm a manager. I will like, love women. Trust me. So the only thing I I, I used with the money was to decorate my room, buy cars, go out and chop girls, that's all. Was it still this same Malam at uh, who was helping you? It was the same person. I, I never went to any place any place until he died. Okay. You know, I took another client to him. His, his name was Hanley Edwards. He, he's, a, he's a big star at US. If you check him on Google right now, he, he's a big star. When I, I caught him, he was the one producing 50 cents and Lewin. So he, he like you know he had money he was the one that changed my life like that man like he changed my life you got money from him he too. changed my life like with him with him he, he, he did a mistake you know he trusted me to the extent he, he had dreadlocks so he, he did a mistake and you know he he, he he was sending me laptops and phones so he cut one of his yeah. dreadlocks and put it in a laptop 
took, and sent it to you. Sent it to me. So what did you do with it? I used that same place to the dream. To, I, I took the. Uh, did, did you tell him to cut the hair for you? Yeah, I told him I want to really have a feel of, you know, his hair. I want to have a feel of it. So he, he, he told me, okay, fine. He was saying, but when he, the funny part is when he, he sent me there, he told me he knows we Africans, we love black magic. But I shouldn't use his hair for black magic. I was like, no problem. But I did it. So with him, I wouldn't like with him, like I took like, we became like friends. With him in particular, we became like friends. It, it was the only kind that I, I spent more than six, seven years with him. He's the only kind I spent more how, than, much, how much did you make from him? For him there, I can't even count the trust me. I won't lie to you. With, with and the address, I can't really, I can't really. So your money was for your cars and that's Did all. you build any house out of it? I have a property though. Uh, I have a property though uh, around Amount from and Ubuntu. They are all the same Kaswa. You built a house. Yeah, yeah, put it that way. A mansion, baby. Oh, no, 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 if I am not that sensible, my first money I won't rent. But how come I started making money and I never thought of doing properties? The enemy gives to you, then you use the same gift he gives to you to worship him now. That's how the thing is. Because when I make money from him, the, the only thing I can use the money is to glorify the same enemy, to be doing bad stuff. Last, when I was going to buy my first land, my, I always give praise and thanks to my elderly sister and the axe band and my mom and my ex if not those people i have nothing to boast of were they aware you were into fraud my mom was never aware. my mom is a lady pastor at 20 coast so she, she has no idea i'm into fraud anytime i'm going to my mom's end i will park then i will get in myself and i'll walk to where she stays <laughs> you don't want him to see no no one of your sister and they had no idea but they all got to know but they, they realized you were getting money that is where they became really hard on me you know what that if you are making money then you I need should to do something so when they were going to when i was going to buy the land it was two plot it was four and my other sister and the husband bought two so they told me to go and buy the two and i had that money times 10 in the house it was 200 million like one is for 100 million so i could buy more than 10 that day but i didn't want to buy it my focus is on buying cars so when they came to me, they had to drag me like a boat into the taxi. <laughs> Go and buy it. Go and buy it by force. So your juju man died. He died. Um, um, before you proceed, I'm okay. told that... So is it Sakawa? Sakawa, fraud. They are all the same. What is Sakawa? People normally say Sakawa is like like those that are into the money rituals. Okay, that is Sakawa. That is what people think, but it is all the same because, trust me, when when we are talking about our basic education, you don't start from you start from primary one before you go primary two. Yeah. You don't start from primary one, then you jump to primary five. That's true. So let me say fraud is the senior brother of Sakawa. Really? I won't lie to you. Is it true that sometimes you are restricted, especially with the money to spend in it the is day? true. Okay, so let we'll, let's get to from the when the man died. Where else? When the man died, then I was introduced to a place at Swedro. It is. It is. I've forgotten the the, the, the name. It's around Swedro, but there's a small town at, at Swedro. I want to remember the exact place because I, I I've been saying it more times when I go to interviews. Like I, I'm just trying to recall the place, but I can't. But it is a small town at, at Swedro. That place when you when you go there, mm -hmm. it is a river. Okay. It is a river. That, there is a river in the area. Yeah, it's a river, and that river. It's the same river backing the chief around that area. Okay. So when you go there, you have to go to where the chief is. Then make the chief know the reason why you came there. Okay. So when your intentions are good, before they will lead you to where the the river and the shrine is. Okay. So yeah. you did that. I did that. Okay. I took the same person picture. Okay. So when you went there, you 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 spoke to the chiefs. I spoke to the chief. Now what do you need? I told them I'm 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 I'm, I'm yeah. to internet fraud and I want to them to help me to get more money. 
when they were like it was cool so you buy shinap in one or two things then you you do some you pour some libation the stuff you pour some libation the stuff before they will take you to where they oh okay so you bought the things and yes. then they will do it before they you go there. there yeah how much were you charged after they don't take any money they don't take money you just buy the shinap. thing that's all there you go so when you went there what happened it was a small river so i i i when you go there, there's a young girl let me say she's the priestess who is governing okay. that place so when you go she ask she ask you what brought you to, what brought you here then you explain yourself to her then you go it's either it is two things it's either you bring the river home or you bath there but when you bring it home <laughs> the, the, the 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 law governing it is something else which one did you choose i choose to come and swim and go home everyone next days okay so you can collect some of the uh yeah. water the water and bring it home and bring it home so yeah. why wednesday we, we are learned she's a lady and she's born on wednesday so mm -hmm. you need to use the water wednesday every wednesday but she decided that okay let me be going and coming yeah, because i don't want trouble because you bringing it home has a lot of claws mm. you don't have to you, you don't have to watch a dead body you die when you do that okay you don't you don't you don't have to maybe you wake up in the morning you pour libations to the water you pour some of the water you drink when it is even left with small in the cup and you throw it away you die so you decided you don't have to make love to a lady on tuesdays against the wednesday yeah when you be going there too when you be going there too, you have to make sure that the tuesday you have nothing to do with the lady before you go to wednesdays okay so, so these are the rules governing it and i can't and the easiest way is for you to be going Everybody so you were going to do it was going how, to... how many times did you go into I went, oh, more more than a year until you had the money or what until uh, sorry uh, until i had the money but it, it got to it got to a stage you know it got to a stage like things were moving so i i i went directly to the person who is there the one the one the one let me see the, the, the lady there okay. so she also linked me up with someone that is where it led me to the cemetery what happened at the cemetery i had a client you know you have something we call check it is the nigerians that you do these kind of things you you give them your client bank details then they will be here they will write a check then they will post the check from here to if the clients are ux then they have they also have a partner there at us so you'll be the one to receive the check then you will go and give the check to the client as a male box person so then the client will go and we go and like we draw the money then we'll send the money to me then we share it so you see the Hold process on. someone will be here in, in nigeria in yeah. nigeria yeah and then the person will write a check write the check they will they, 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 they check is that it is a blank check but they will use the client details okay the client details and the bank is saving there okay so when they do everything now they have access so they will forward the check maybe dhl or Arab, anywhere or any express way so the money gets to the check gets to the client uh-huh so it goes to withdraw goes to withdraw then you will send the money but they send thirty thousand dollars to to try the client it kept longer the money wasn't going but later on it went through then the client will draw the money and sent it so they trusted my business because i was the one that brought the client okay so they trusted me so the next one they did was thirty thousand dollars three maybe ninety thousand dollars then the client doesn't want to release the money he cashed the money all right but he, he doesn't want to send the money by then to shake was not there you know to do stuff for me so that handkerchief stuff was wasn't favoring me any longer so i went to a person that took me to the cemetery just i would do my cemetery here i would do my cemetery just here daytime no, 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 no around 12 midnight but there are securities at i would do my cemetery. oh forget that people they, most of the people come there you just tip them ah it is a normal thing people do there i would do my cemetery there are securities around you just tip them and they will allow you to go and do anything and you want you go there trust me if you like go there anytime you will see people there if you're looking for you have the heart performing rituals yeah and the securities there they okay. are they, they know 
So they will just take money if you want to do well, rituals. You just, just want to go and, you know, you they know, you wouldn't even, you, know, you just want to go and check one or two things there. You just, I would do my cemetery. Yeah. If only you have the heart to go out, they, you don't, they don't have So what them. time, 12? Did you, you spoke to them before you got there, when you got no, there? No, no. When you got there, see, it is normal thing. I think the person who took me there, it, it wasn't the first time he's going there. So he, he has that yeah, kind of rapport. Yeah, so, you know, so we got there and he spoke with them, then, you know, you tip them. Then we go. So before we're going, I have the client's picture. So we went there, he has a small bath. So when we went there, there's a big tree there. Very big, big tree among all the trees I want to that would there. Okay. So we go there, then you, you did that. Those they are chanting, chanting stuff. Then nail the client picture on the tree. Then he left me there. He was just carrying me. He left me there. No, no, he was standing up, place laughing at me because I was scared. Twelve a.m. I was scared. You know. So when he came back, he was making fun of me. Or like, oh, I come out and say, oh yeah, me. Honestly, thinking, I'm, I'm not scared of anything. That is who I am naturally. So when we came back from trust with the next day, the client sent all the money. Uh, the, the ninety thousand dollars sent all the money. <laughs> he never spent one city. He spent all. Then we, I even took points from himself. So that, that that money goes to Poland before it will come here. Like it is, people will be taking their shares before it to get also. So how much did you make from that money? That money I I made almost like it was sixty forty. So I made almost like thirty dollars from that money. So they took the sixty. Because with them, they, they did the most of the job. By me, they, I just provided the client. So I took that money. Then I had to use the money to do those kind of things. But fraud did me harm more than good. Okay. Um, so here in Ghana, mm -hmm. the Juju men here, you know a lot of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of them. I know a lot of them. Know did you them. move outside Ghana? Where? Okay, I couldn't say out, outside Ghana, but I, I went to Togo. I went to Benin to do what? You no, know, the same thing. Why? Ghanaians juju was not powerful, but, eh? These things all at times depends on the kind of friends you make also. You know, it is all the thing is all by level. When I when I when I'm with you and I'm making two cities, alongside of spending the two cities, I will make a friend who spends four cities. So the four cities that my friend is spending. I would love to know where the ah, are you we are all in this and you are making that man. Ah, what is your secret? Oh no no yes, that's how it is. So then he knows we are all in the same place, so he won't hesitate to tell you the secret. So he went to Togo Benin. I, I went to Togo, I went to Benin and I went to uh, I went, is it the place they normally speak Nyabro Nyabro this is a well language. I forgot the place that is around those uh, 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 places now and and you, you they did things for you. But they did, they, did, they did stuff for me and everything they did i would like to it worked some will just go there to maybe you tie your client and go and leave it and you come back you don't even spend a day there and when they do it it works it works did you have anything in your room that you were yeah. because you've mentioned your first handkerchief and your ring i never had anything like that in my room though but all those things were kept at shake place when i was around when i was with shake I had a god that I worship called Maudada. That you, was the name. You are worshiping a god. You are called Maudada. Maudada. Yeah, 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 it is just a carved something. But I told him I was staying a single room by then. So you can't bring no, it. No, 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 no. So how were you worshiping that god? Anytime I go to Sheikh's place, we, 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 we talk, we have a discussion. Then when I'm about to leave, then I will climb up to where it is. Then, you know, I pour libation and I will tell him, Charlie, you should let me get money. So that I also come in, you know, give my, I don't know how to put that way. Show appreciation. appreciation. Yeah. So then I'll just pour the libation. I'll put one of, some of the alcohol in my mouth. I'll just pour on it then. I'll put coins. You know, then I'll just, then I'll just go. Okay. Back to this question. Okay. I am told that sometimes you are made to sleep in a coffin. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. I did once. Where? You shake. You slept in a coffin. Yeah. How long? Bad, bad. You know, with them saying you sleep in the coffin like to the next day they are lying. I will always say this thing, they are lying. You can't sleep in the coffin even for 30 minutes. They are lying. Why? Oh, you will die. You suffocate and die. Oh, would they cover everything completely? Yes. Those things they be doing is just it is just for the movies. Okay, so like I slept in the coffin but not less than 10 minutes. And even that one, 
you know, he was doing his own chanting. So I, I, I wasn't seeing anything though, but I could perceive he was going around the coffin. So, so for some minutes, then he would just open the coffin. For me, we were able, able to beat more, then we would cover the coffin again. Were you scared? I wasn't scared. I'm not scared. I'm, I would like to, I'm not that, that type of guy. You, you slept in the coffin? Yeah. I wasn't scared because I've known Sheikh for a long time. And you know what he, he can, can do. do. So, you know, I trusted that man with our lives. You, you, you bought the coffin yourself or it's No, there. no, no. When, when he goes to his place, he have, you know, the thing is, that's why I say, this whole thing is a gradual process. When we started, we had no idea. He, 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 he didn't have a coffin. We, we had no idea. When we started, the whole thing we did was bathing. That was the level, the first level before, then cutting us, then going to the top. So the thing was like, it, it was climbing up. So we got to the stage and he told us point blank, like, he wanted us to, he, he wanted to put us more deeply into what we are doing. Then that, I said, what can I do with that? I like, no, whatever it is, no, you were so much. So we were, we were okay. I understand sometimes you go to the cemetery to bath. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I've, not done, I've not done that one before though, because those bathing in a cemetery, that thing is it really, it's not something, it's not a joke thing. Bathing in a cemetery is not a joke thing. We may have not experienced that thing before, and I wouldn't even do that thing. Because, you know, cemetery, also your wine, when you go to cemetery, you see that that place is really heavy. It, you don't joke with that place. So, going to bath there, me, I've not done that thing before, I wouldn't lie. What I've not done, uh, and not for cameras, so maybe I was, no, I have not. But with a coffin, I have slept in the coffin. And if you will sleep in the coffin, from my understanding and what he told, he told us was a protection. Let's make an experiment. Can you harm somebody who is already dead? No. So when you sleep in the coffin, you are walking, but you are dead. So no one can harm you because when they are looking for you spiritually, you are dead. The, the, were, the, were you giving something to eat? No. The only time we had something was through the initiation. He, he killed this, I don't know how to mention that animal's name in, in English, but Kodo. You see those birds with their long legs? You normally, you normally see them You normally see them in the coral lagoons. Okay, okay. White with the long legs, yes. Yeah. He killed that and prepared it for us. We, we, no one is allowed to eat apart from me and my friend. You need to eat everything. Yes. Break the bones, everything. everything. <laughs> Seriously, that is not easy. That it tastes sweet, nice. It does not. But you don't have another option. How much? So in all, in all, throughout your fraud, how much did you make? Like it? I know it is very difficult for you to be able to accumulate everything. Yes, that one. Did. But but in all, how long were you into fraud? I started browsing back in two thousand nine. Yeah. I stopped fraud for like five years now. Stop fraud. And I stopped like five years now. So in all, did you make a, a million dollar? Or more than that? Well, I think it, it will get close to that, but not not more than that. It means you made a lot of money. Yeah, but ask me where is the money to? Uh, so where is the money? It's gone. Where? This, this, this is the part I always want to emphasize on. You know, any gift of the enemy wouldn't last. Trust me, even if you use the money eh, to even do properties, trust me, they wouldn't last. It's either you will die and you won't even live to enjoy the, the things you work hard for. So where is your money? What happened? Everything I made out of fraud left me on a gradual process. Why did you stop frauding? Yeah, I stopped frauding. I decided to stop because I had a call of God on me. What was the turning point? How did you know you had a call of God? Okay, you know, this thing was already, if I won't lie, I know already. Because I normally follow my mom to church and they tell me that I wasn't ready for those because kind of things. Because you need money. Yeah, I'm not interested in being a man of God. I'm not interested in car. So I was at a cafe browsing one day and a lady, I don't know, uh, John, she was knocking the cafe room. So we opened and uh, she mentioned my name. And she didn't even, she didn't even mention my my christian name or my surname but she mentioned my my house name put it that way my tribe name she mentioned yauche i was like hey i was like i don't know it was like i should come so then i, I approached her and she was like when she was going there was some kind of lighting that would stop her 
then the same lightning will come and be in front of me. But God says she should tell me if I don't stop this fraud and the womanizing thing I'm doing, I would die at the age of 48 years. I was scared, but it was normal. I was still browsing. Then I was working on Kayakari Road. I wanted to dance man there. Then yeah. a madman called me Yao. Then, you know, the funny part is when I tell about it, I look at the madman. I didn't believe it was the madman who mentioned my name, so I was still going. Then he had the chair to eat. So then I tell him, I was like, hey, how did you go to know my name? I was like, me, me, I'm just like, like, I'm stubborn. But if I don't stop everything I'm doing and do the work of God, I will die at the age of 48 years. That got me scared now. And he decided to stop. I decided to stop. Was it easy? It wasn't easy. If I told you stopping fraud was easy, I am a big liar. The way I disgraced myself, everything that I acquired started going one by one, one by one, one by one. My room got bent. I went to sell my car. They ran away with the car. You didn't get the money? No, 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 I didn't get the money. Twice. One day I sold the car and I was going to buy a different car and they ran away with the money. This is how like everything went started going down drain. I had a motors, I have more than four or five motors that were working for me. I can't locate the drivers and the motors up to now. I have taxis that are working for me today, fault, tomorrow this, tomorrow that, then I have to sell them. So like everything started when I if you ask me how I don't know, but before I realized I was bankrupt that I had to work from Dansoma to my mom's place at Colorado just to go eat and come back home. It got to a stage my mom was the one paying my rent for me. <sighs> and if I had known this is what fraud would be doing or like misleading my life, I never engaged myself into it. Did you ever fraud people in Ghana? No. Why? I I I I never did that because you know where I started fraud. I never see my boss doing this kind of things, and it, it, it never even crossed my mind. Trust me. But well, here, if you don't take care, you now don't get anything. Now I'm scared no more. You get it. <laughs> so it's never crossed my mind to do that. Trust me. So fraud is not something I am. I am. I am telling someone or would advise someone to go and do it. No, because I only went to SHS. So imagine I can read and write, speak English. So imagine if I failed my education because my entire life I wanted to join the security services. But fraud deprived me. Fraud never made me see the excess of education. Now, at times I sit at home and I cry. Why? I regretted not failing my education and you know, engaging myself with the fraud. Not me losing everything, no. But I regret wasting all those years. The one who introduced you to fraud, mm -hmm. is, he, is he around? Oh yeah, he's still doing it and he's a billionaire. No, he's not a rich guy, he's a billionaire. He has his houses around, Trazaco and those kind of things, drives, range rovers and stuff. Do you yeah. see him? I see him, but we are not in good terms. Why? You know, when I started doing this campaign, saving the youth, they all turned against me. Because they know I'll be splitting out their secrets. You know, I would be making people know what is really going on. So the hate started from there. They don't talk to me. I don't really, I don't really care. Trust me. You see some of your friends. I see that most of them are dead. I lost almost six, seven of my friends. We buried one of them, not, not less than two years, twenty-six years. None of them died that they passed the age twenty-six. The highest age was twenty-six. Is it the spirit that kills you? Because you know. The enemy will tell you to do something and the same enemy will, will cause you to forget what will kill you. Mm. That is how the thing is. Is it true that sometimes you are not supposed to spend more than a certain amount of money? It is not really not to spend a supposed amount of money, but for you not to use the money to do good things. Like we said, I have a friends that I was good to them when I was not browsing. They were good to me when I was not browsing. But when I started browsing, I've not been able to give them one plus one before. Why? I don't have to do good to my closest people. Uh, uh, that instruction, where is it yeah. coming from? From the Malam. So Malam will tell you that if you have a friend, yeah, someone it is very dear to you, someone you are close to. I just don't know what 
if I give the person the money, I don't know what will be the outcome of it. And I don't want to know. So they will tell you that someone who is very close to you, don't give don't or, good. or give 50 Ghana. No, no, don't even give 50 Ghana. Maybe, okay, fine. He's angry. The you highest buy thing, food. That's the highest thing. Or drink. The highest thing you can do. So you can buy drinks for the friends. I can take you to a boutique and buy something for you. But like me, dashing you money from my pocket, no, it won't work. Maybe I'll probably make you take it from someone and I'll pay the person. Uh, okay. So if, if you have a friend like that, note it. You may ask him money. Oh, then you know, Kofi, if you have money, give it to him. I'll pay you. He doesn't want to give you his own money, but he will pay Kofi for giving you the money. But it is not the money come from, coming from his own pocket. The thing is, you, you will not be told what will happen to you. But, but I don't want that to know. That is the instruction. Don't I don't want to know. And people close to you, are you supposed to give them money? Like your sister, your mom, and. You are not supposed to. So my entire life, you know, when I was browsing, the reason why I bought you people when I was not into browsing, I was working at this this place. And when I stopped browsing, life is really tough for me, and I don't want to go back. So I have to come back to the same place to hustle some more, more. When I was browsing, men and my sisters, when they had no idea I was browsing, they thought I was still working here. So the only good I was able to do for them is I pay my mom's rent. My elderly, the elderly, the one before me. I did container for her. I send them money through mobile money. But I don't give them physical cash. Cash. No, I don't do it. Until they got to know I was doing the got a statement, I wasn't even giving them money. They, they are scared. That was then I was not even using the jewelry any longer. But they were scared because I opened up and told them things I have done. Are you free now? By the grace of God, I'm free now. I'm very, very, very free. What what is your your biggest regret my biggest regret here eh, is indulging myself into fraud did you get to a point where they tell you we're going to kill someone or something no i didn't get to that point but i got to a point myself i couldn't sleep why you know i did stuff i did stuff i played with juju people i played with medicines i entered places like you can't go so it got to a stage when I'm going to sleep, I'm scared I will die. But aside that, I never, you know, tempered with somebody's life, no. Um, there is this young man I know, and people keep alleging that he's into fraud. And I know him. Okay. But he will not give you money. Mm -hmm. He dressed. <laughs> he, will buy, he will buy a drink for you, right? He may range over. Mm -hmm. If he sees you, boys, boys, sitting down somewhere, oh, Charlie, Charlie, you are buying food. He will pay he for the food. food. But he will not. And the highest he can give you, 50. <laughs> <laughs> then you should know. So if you don't know today, you know. And sometimes he's, he has some guy. The, the guy is kind of his PA. He's been sending him. So when he sees you, oh, I don't add. Ah, the name is even come. No, he will tell you, Charlie. Money, people, money, money. Yeah, so the PA yeah. will give the money, then he will sort out the PA. That's how they do it. Because money coming from his own pocket will be doomed. So now your house is there. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you have now? That's the only thing I have now. You've lost everything. Everything. I don't have bicycle tie. Even a bicycle spine, I don't even have it. I, I was there and you sent me a message. Yeah. Why? You know, I started a project on TikTok. Okay. Myself, I'm not that social media freak though. But I saw that one day and I had the conviction. I had a conviction and I had the revelation to you know create a platform like that and advise my fellow youths not to engage themselves in, into fraud. So when I, I, I created that page, it's not less than three weeks, but I have almost like two almost like fifty something K followers. And I had young boys who are in JHS, SHS2, that they are into fraud, that they've been to Benin. Some of them, are, they've done so many things that the way they confided in me, worse than you, worse than even what I've done. And I'm even surprised. A boy at a shaman contacted, he took my number and spoke with me that you'll be going to school this Saturday. Just, okay, today Saturday, right? Today. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow, tomorrow. He's staying with the mother, 18-year-old boy. He has been to Togo, Benin, for which was and the painful part is his own mother even took him to north. So I felt I felt like no, I need I need a platform. I need I need a push. I want to him 
the SHS schools, the JHS schools, and the university schools. Like, I want to go there and you know talk to them, let them alert that this is what is going on, so that no one will make the mistakes I did. Now I regret, in as much as I want to join the service, but I, I've, I've, I've destroyed my education. So I saw your interview with Miss Bell. Okay. So I watched your interview with Miss Bell. I was like, okay, fine. I am on my own. I don't have any management team. The only management team I have it is, is the friends I made on the same TikTok. So we share ideas together. Okay. I don't really have any media person or anyone sponsoring the what we are doing. So I was like, okay, fine. Why don't I contact you since your platform is really educative and okay. you know it is really ideal? So maybe if through you I could get support, sponsors, maybe I just want the privilege to go to the schools. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to okay. share your number in case a okay. school, a church, okay, or an organization want to invite you. Okay. Um, what, what, what number will you share with us? Okay, you you can you can firstly check me up on TikTok at Iman at Ima ten three two one at and E double M A T G N three two one at E M M A T E N three two one. That is my TikTok handle, and you can also call me on. Zero five nine five two four triple six three zero five nine five two four triple six three zero five nine five two four triple six three. You can call me on that number. I don't WhatsApp with that number. I have a WhatsApp number, but you can mostly call me on that number if you really want to help this agenda and the agenda name is saving the youth so if you want to help us you are allowed and i know god will richly bless anyone who will love to support this thing um and i wanted to end this interview but my, I, I've, I've just been prompted you said you were not sleeping because i understand a lot of folk guys they don't sleep we don't sleep we club we party around why you know the fact is we have some people that they go to places that those things hunts you Mm. It hunts you, so you can't sleep. Things will be hunting you at night. Things will be hunting you at night, so you can't sleep. Hey, these things you are telling me, eh, you are making me suspect this my guy. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. Oh. He don't sleep <laughs> because you call him two a.m. He will respond. He will be three a.m. And, and and most of the times, you know, most of the fraudsters we don't sleep. One is the let me say the juju aspect. I told you. Secondly, too, you know, we do with time. You know, if I have a client who's a UX, mm -hmm. I need to start talking to him around 10 to 11 p.m. here. At that time, it is maybe he has closed from work, work and he will have enough time, time to you. talk. So we don't sleep. Then the thirdly, you know, you have to, you know, you know, clubs, have fun, chill with the girls. So we don't sleep. Because you are making me believe what you are. You are saying about this, my friend. No, but he doesn't sleep. Oh. No, 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 no. You no, call no. him three a.m. He will pick. You call him and he will pick. And he wouldn't be at home too. Yes. Yeah. That's how. But, it but, is. but 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 during the day, do you sleep? Yeah, we sleep in the day. But in the, in the at night, we don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the only time you see us sleeping is when maybe you know some shady be. Yeah. But where is your girlfriends? Where are they? Oh, uh, okay. Let me say. I stopped those things for a long time. So they left you. I'm now I am now I don't like to, I don't like talking about this. Okay. Because I don't want people to see the page to be like more like a religion page. You know, but I am a, I am an ordained reverend. Okay. So so I'm okay. ordained now. Wow. I'm ordained as apostle. Okay. So I am no longer no longer into this kind of life anymore. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to hide it because okay, you know I just want to be neutral. So that people being Muslim can come to me. Because this boy I'm talking about is a Muslim. But he has confined in he you. He has been converted. Wow, through you. Yeah. I, I posted his conversion messages and everything on my TikTok. He has converted and is now campaigning for Jesus Christ on his WhatsApp page. I, I can see you are happy about it. Trust me. Then when he called me three days today and told me I, I, I led into Christ three days today. 
and I saw the post in the evening few days today, and I was happy. So I, I was like, oh, bro, I am happy that I have been able to make an impact. So even when I came to work yesterday, I told them, yeah, like, if I die today, I know I have a crown. And it was like, why? And I showed them the message that they all have. And I'm, trust me, I am happy doing what I'm doing on TikTok. Your, so your friends here, they didn't know you were into it? They yeah, everybody knows me I'm into it. Uh, if, if not for the noise, that's the reason why I ordered to do that. Because they all know I was, I started calling here. <laughs> At that time, we were arranging laptop. This, my, 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 uh -huh. I see that kind of laptops and when I come here, I'm browsing and I will sleep and they'll be laughing at me. <laughs> so they all know my story here. But when you got them, did you, did you, did you? I, I come here. Yeah. But, but I wasn't, like I told you, there are some people that I wasn't able to do them good when I had the money. But most of them are now, you see them here like that, most of them, more than like five people are either the men of God. Wow. So they all understood when I started making. And they are happy for you. So they understood the reason why when I had the money. When I started making normal money, and I was giving them some. But when they had, they started having money like I was driving big cars. I wasn't able to give them one. Okay, thank you. Um, I know this is part one. I'm going to do part two with you. And um, I'm putting his number on the screen right now. You can reach out to him. If you have a secondary school, you have school, you want him to come and um, have a program with you. His doors are widely open. If it's a church, if it is any religious body, just feel free and get him and he's ready to come on board to um, share his experience and even give you tips um, for you to know if your child uh, is into fraud, how you'll be able to know. Um, thanks so much for watching the video. God bless you. Many thanks to Ash Token, the best cryptocurrency in the whole world. Um, make sure you buy and you save in cryptocurrency. And the best one, the reliable one around the world, the safest one is Ash Token. They have their offices here in Ghana. Their numbers are on the screen. Call them. Use the promo code OBBINI. Like the video you share. And um, you comment as well. Uh, God bless you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. OBITV. Bye-bye. Have you heard about the crypto for the planet? Now, here's why you should get the ASH token. The ASH token is a platform for funding business initiatives that aims to eliminate pollution from the global environment. ASH token is navigated by experts whose profile and faces are known and available to you. The ASH token is not just a coin. You will be supporting eco-friendly companies to make the world green. The ASH token is backed by real companies outside the crypto ecosystem. Ash Token is registered in the United States of America, both at the federal level and also in the state of Wyoming. You can walk into any Ash Token office in the US and right here in Ghana. Sign up now, get that Ash. Ash Token is supported by GCS Fibers and GCS Ghana Limited. For inquiries, you can visit Accra Head Office, Cantonment, adjacent to the Italian Embassy. Whole office inside Bayport Building, third floor, opposite the whole high court. You can call us on 0303 942 268.